Welcome everyone to the New Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Colin McEwen. This week, I sample some of the outstanding fly fishing opportunities Hearst Air Service offers in Ontario's far north. First, we visit the Sutton River for world-class brook trout. Then we move over to Pym Island on the Attawapiskat River for monster pike. We've had a stroke of good luck as the conditions are perfect for surface flies. It promises to be a great show, so stay with us. We'll be right back. Let him go back to live another day. And away he goes. Great fish. Wow. Oh, baby. Look at that fish. Stop, wiggle, on the way down. The new fly fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Algoma Country, That Real. Ontario, yours to discover. Orvis Sporting Traditions. Islander Precision Reels. Scientific Anglers. Rail Riders Outdoor Clothing. Net Staff, the world's first wading staff and net. Brook Trout, the crown jewels of the North. In Algoma, brook trout abound, and one of our favorite ways to catch them is with surface flies. Now you can certainly catch them with a dry fly pattern that imitates a mayfly or a caddis. But we like to tease the big fish to the surface with a substantive meal, something like a mouse. Mice often fall helplessly into the rivers. Big brook trout who are looking for high calorie food sources are looking for these small rodents of the forest. Smart fly fishers will cast mice patterns across pools, seams, and around river edges. The action in Algoma for brook trout on mice patterns can be nothing short of explosive. Watch this. Oh, oh, that was a monstrous hit on that poor little mouse. <laughs> Come to Algoma and catch your trophy brook trout of a lifetime on a little mouse. Oh. That's insane. That is totally insane. Magnificent, wild brook trout. Let's see if I can do that again. So I was throwing a dry fly for a few minutes and the brook trout weren't reacting to it. The guide suggests I, I go to a mouse pattern. I've got a big one here. And you know something? You don't need to make big, long hero casts here. Literally, they're right here on the edges. And anywhere you see a seam, put it out in the fast water and then high stick it back, keeping the mouse going through the surface film. And boom, we'll take a big shot at it. I'll see if I can find a big brook trout right now. Uh, there we go, that one took really solid. There's no question. Didn't try to drown it, he grabbed it and turned right away. Okay. Look at this. Look at this magnificent fish. What, my hands? Look at the colors. Is that incredible? Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful fish. See? Oh, there he goes. As an avid brook trout angler, 
the Sutton River in Northern Ontario has been a destination I've wanted to visit for a very long time. Hearst Air Service, located in the town of Hearst, Ontario, arranges for your time on the Sutton. The river begins in Holly Lake and flows north 120 kilometers through Polar Bear Provincial Park, finally emptying into Hudson's Bay. What sets the Sutton apart from many others is both the quality of the fishing and accessibility for anglers. The Sutton gently meanders its entire length with no real rapids or white water. It is inundated with literally hundreds of weightable riffles, runs, and pools that are full of feisty brook trout in the 18 to 24 inch range. There's not one single portage for the whole length of the river. What I'm doing in terms of the technique, depending upon where the current is, but this is what I call standard here on the Sutton. And it's easy wading, there's not a lot of big rocks. And what I've done is come out here and I'm gonna cast either to the left or the right, depending upon where the, the current breaks are, the holes. And I'm also looking at that foam line. And I cast across, say over here to the left, downriver, keep the rod tip up, and then I wiggle. And it brings it across and makes that wake that is so tantalizing to a brook trout. Key is you let the fly line, a little bit of it be in the current, and that gives you the pull on the fly, which traditionally you don't want with a top water, but with these mice patterns is what you want, and you wiggle it across. Oh, wow! Oh, ho, ho, ho. what an aggressive take. I have a feeling this fish just hammered it, Gilbert. Well, this fish is really strong. Oh, sweet. Uh, and you know what's amazing? This is a small fish. Here on Sutton River, this is a small fish. Long time. Okay. I'll just quickly take out the hook. Barbless. And let me show you. It's a female. Look at those colors. Beautiful speckled trout. And the surface fly. And away she goes. fish, beautiful fish. And I'm throwing a mouse pattern and literally um, every other cast I'm getting a trout come up and smack at it. And this is a good sized fish. Beautiful colors. Yeah. Wow. What a fish. <laughs> um How's that for a brook trout? Look at the size of that. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. He's just got it in the corner of his mouth, up here on the top. I'll just pop it out. Nice. And that's a deer hair popper for bass. Look how well that worked. And that is a beautiful, chunky brook trout. Okay. And look at that. Size of I got lucky and conditions were perfect to use mouse patterns. But have these other patterns with you when you visit the Sutton. Conehead zuddlers in a variety of colors. Leech patterns such as bunny leeches or woolly buggers in black. Mice patterns such as the shaving brush work well, as does bass poppers in various colors. There are two ways to experience this fabulous fishery. First, a canoe trip from the headwaters at Holly Lake all the way to Hudson's Bay. Hearst Air provides air charter and canoes for this adventure and you supply the rest. Most guests will take seven to 10 days to complete this trip. The second option available is where guests may choose to stay at the native outpost camp on Holly Lake. This is a fully guided trip 
and guests will travel down the river each day in freighter canoes along with their native guides, sampling the best waters of the Upper Sutton in total comfort and safety. The fact you bring your own food and cook for yourself is reflected in the overall price of the trip. World-class fishing at a fraction of the cost of other areas in North America that have brook trout of this size. It's actually not a mouse pattern. It's a deer hair popper. I want to put on a really big one. Oh yeah, it's a good size brookie. <laughs> Look at that. It's a monster. Let's see if I can get him in. Barbless hook. Might give out any moment, and whoa, oh, 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 he completely fills the net. Just get the fly out. It's just an outside corner of his mouth. Okay. Where do you see this fish? Where do you see this fish? I mean, this, these are fish of a lifetime. Have a look at that. Oh, way he goes. Tomorrow the plane returns and we head out to Pym Island to fish for a massive pike. The next day, we flew into Pym Island to sample some of the incredible pike fishing the area offers. Norm, my guide, informed me the pike love poppers on the Attawapiskat River. I could feel the excitement building. Northern Pike. They're the wolves of freshwater in Algoma. Constantly on the hunt for the next meal for fly fishers who love to catch pike. Enticing them to the surface can be the ultimate high. Their attacks are savage, explosive, merciless. Pike love to eat helpless mice who fall into the river, or even better, young ducklings, or perhaps a small muskrat. Our flies have to imitate the action and silhouette of any of these food sources. Large black flies are my favorite. Patterns such as Brad Bowen's swing hips is absolutely deadly. If you can do it right, then the action will be non-stop. In a place like Algoma, you can count on exceptional surface pike action like this. Big fish, big fish, oh. He was chasing something. 
Whoa. <laughs> Try surface pike flies when you come to Algoma. It will be a great workout for your arm and your heart. Big fish. So I know this place where there's uh, some weed. And this is uh, part of the river here, isn't it, Norm? Yeah. It's, uh, oh, look at him go. This is uh, this right here is Tim Island right in front of us. So I'm using a 10 weight rod. And I've got a uh, 40 pound wire leader, a six foot piece of 50 pound fluorocarbon. Oh, that's good fish. That's what we're looking for. First fish here at Pym Island, first cast in our second spot. And look what we got. He just crushed this perch pattern. I think he's ready there, Norm. Oh, ho, ho, baby. Now that's a fish. <laughs> That is a monster fish. Nice, heavy fish. What do you say, 29? 39. 39? Yeah. yeah. 39, 40. You didn't get the right measurements. All right, well, let's let him go. Surface flies. I'm using for pike. There's a number of good ones out there. This is one that's uh, designed by Brad Bowen, who's a big musky angler. Musky flies work excellent for pike. I use them all the time. Have a look at some of these patterns that I find that are my favorite surface flies for pike. Other surface patterns I've had success with over the years are deer hair poppers, the shaving brush, mouse patterns, red and white tarpon poppers, and of course, the swing hips. And I don't think it's that big a fish. The way he took that fly on the surface, oh, he's not bad. Nice thick fish. Where did this fish go? Oh, I can see the head shaking down there. He is really showing the strength. Now, these are river pike which are very different from lake pike. They tend to be a lot stronger. Anybody says a pike don't fight. I've not caught these fish before. Like this, look at that. Oh, he's a little bigger fish than I thought, actually. Look at that. And in he goes. Whoa! How is that on top water? Show him the fly. That's what took this pike. It's beautiful pike. It's got a cut in the back there. Whew, look at that. Oh, that's a killing machine, but a nice, thick specimen. I'm gonna let this guy go. Well, that didn't work out too well. So what we were trying to do on that release is get an underwater shot, and of course, just as the camera was coming up to it, he gave a big S kick and boom, gone. I got Kevlar gloves on, but it doesn't matter. A fish that strong wants to leave it, it gets away. But anyways, that's incredible on a surface fly. That's one of the reasons you want to come here to Pimmel Island because big pike on surface flies. As I reflect back on this outstanding trip, I'm in awe of the huge pike I've been able to take on surface flies, but I can't help loving the brook trout action. I had to go back to the sudden. Who doesn't love catching wild brook trout on surface flies? Oh. 
Oof. That was a take. This feels like a good fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I get this guy in the reel. This is a decent fish. Big fish, big fish come right to my, oh, he went right in the net. <laughs> when does that happen? Oh, wait till I show you this fish. Oh, there's the fly, just came out. It's the beauty of the barbless. Okay, and I hope I can adequately show you this fish. Look at that, beautiful. That's easily 20, 21, maybe inches of male rainbow. Look at the colors. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous fish. I don't want to harm them. So I'm going to show them to you in the camera briefly, and then I'll let them swim off here. Look at that. He's ready to go. Nice and gentle. Look at the spots. The red hues. Nice and thick. And off he goes. Oh, wow. Well, what a magnificent couple of days I've had here on the Sutton River. I hope you enjoyed today's show. If you want to learn more about this show, about this place, about the flies we used, go to our website, thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us at The New Fly Fisher, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to the support of Algoma Country, That Real. Ontario, yours to discover. Orvis Sporting Traditions, Islander Precision Reels, Scientific Anglers, Rail Riders Outdoor Clothing, Net Staff, the world's first wading staff and net. To learn more about the new fly fisher, our locations, contests, news, and much more, come visit and like us on Facebook.